And there are these uh, various categories out there that are kind of related that you can find in the store and, and they, um, the lines are blurred and it can be very difficult for a consumer to navigate. And so what we used as our definition of fermented foods were foods that had been um, you know, transformed through microbial activity and that still contained live microbes in them. Mm-hmm. So, um, the, um, you know, foods are, are the ones that you mentioned, things like kombucha and kefir and sauerkraut and kimchi and yogurt. Um, but there are versions of many of these that you can buy that are either, um, you know, were fermented, but have become canned and are no longer, no longer contain live microbes. So for instance, if you buy canned sauerkraut, that's kept at room temperature that may have been fermented to have, you know, microbes may have helped create that sauerkraut, but they kill all those microbes in the canning process. So that wouldn't count as a fermented food in our study. Likewise, um, or, um, somewhat different in contrast, pickles, um, can be naturally fermented, um, with microbes. And those microbes generally produce, for instance, a lot of acetic acid when they're pickling them. So it leads to that kind of vinegary taste when you eat pickles. Um, companies have figured out that if they just put cucumbers into vinegar, they can kind of reconstitute that, um, fermented taste. And that's, you know, a pickled, pickled food that just has, um, the, the vinegar in it. And, uh, those may be either refrigerated or they may be canned. Um, but if they just have added, um, acetic acid or vinegar in them, they don't count as a fermented food or wouldn't count as a fermented food in our study. And there are even, um, you know, versions of these pickled foods now, and a lot of actually, um, kind of processed foods that add microbes at the very end. So those microbes Mm -hmm. are not part of fermenting the food, but they're added at the end so that on the label, the manufacturer can write contains probiotics Mm -hmm. or contains live microbes. And so you really have to be aware that it's a naturally fermented food that it contains live microbes that, you know, most likely will be found in the refrigerated section. And so Mm -hmm. for this study, we required those naturally fermented foods that contain live microbes. And, um, you know, we don't know, whether pickled foods or foods that had been fermented and then canned have, it's possible mm-hmm. that they may be beneficial as well. We just didn't study them. Yeah. It's a, it's an important point when considering the sort of generalizability of the, uh, find the results, which we'll walk through. That's an, that, that point there about the addition of probiotics afterwards is really interesting because I wonder most most dairy products, yogurts that that say live cultures. I'm I'm assuming those are fermented, but I wonder there are a lot of plant based yogurts popping up that also say contain probiotics, live cultures, and whether they're actually fermented or that's added afterwards. Yeah, and so a good thing to look for on those labels is whether they contain lactic acid or acetic acid as an ingredient that's been added. Because if you see that, that quite often is the marker that they're artificially creating the sour taste by addition of chemicals and they aren't naturally fermented. And, um, There are other instances. I actually just had a kombucha that my um, friend brought me from Costco. And I was wondering how, you know, kombucha can be mass distributed like this because, you know, if it's a living food and it turns out that what I could infer based on the ingredients is that they created the kombucha through natural fermentation. They then canned it to kill everything. And then they added a microbe back that is actually a spore forming microbe known as bacillus coagulans. That's a kind of quote unquote probiotic organism, not something that's naturally found in um, kombucha usually. And so they can write on the label contains live microbes and naturally fermented kombucha, but the microbes that were used to naturally ferment that kombucha were actually killed prior to Mm -hmm. To, um, packaging it. So, so it's a very tricky, you have to be able, you have to get good at reading the labels mm-hmm. and understand what the different ingredients mean to really figure this out. 